Hey, didn't expect to see me here, did ya? Well, stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Caleb here from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Watching movies is great, but have you ever wished you could be inside a movie? Well, at the end of this video, you'll know how to edit yourself into the new Wednesday show or any show or movie you want with the new Filmora 12. And if you haven't already, you can get Filmora 12 at the official Filmora website, filmora.wondershare.com, or at the link in the description. Let's go. So before we get started, let's break down what needs to happen for us to achieve this effect. First, we need to study the footage to find a suitable shot to insert ourselves. Then we need to reverse engineer the lighting for the scene and match it with our gear. Finally, we can film our scene and composite the footage over the original scene in Filmora 12. Finding a suitable shot is actually harder than it seems. Most importantly, we want to find a shot without any camera movement. While it's theoretically possible to try to match the camera movement using keyframes, the inconsistencies in the lens angle, shape, small bumps, and so on will make the results look unconvincing. We also want a shot where there's enough negative space for us to appear, so we don't look out of place. Shots like these cutaways to the other dancers and the wide shots are perfect for us to sneak ourselves in. Let's try to use this shot for now. Set up your green screen. If you don't have one, you can use a flat color wall and Filmora 12's new smart cutout feature instead. Check out that video on our channel. Now the tricky part. We need to match the lighting of the shot by studying the footage. We can infer that the key light or the brightest light is on camera right. And judging by the soft shadow on Wednesday, the source is diffused. The temperature also appears to be somewhere in the daylight range. We're also going to set up a fill light on the opposite side at the same color temperature. And we'll adjust the brightness until we can get something that approximates the shot. On camera left, we can see some significant shadows on Wednesday. We can replicate this by using negative fill to soak up all the light on this side. Now that we've matched the lighting as best we could, we can film ourselves. Set up your camera to roughly the same focal length and distance as the original shot and film yourself. Make sure you get lots of takes from different positions. Try placing yourself at the center, at the side, and so on. So you don't have to come back and film again. If you followed along so far, good job. Let's move into Filmora 12 and bring it all together. Once your footage is imported, begin by placing the movie scene onto your timeline, followed by your own footage on a video track above. Click your footage, go to Video, AI Tools, and turn on Chroma Key. This feature allows you to remove or key out a color from your shot. We're gonna use the eyedropper to select the color of our green screen and key it out. Take some time to tinker with the different sliders in the Chroma Key tool. Pay close attention to the tolerance and edge feather sliders as these will allow you to fine tune your chroma keys edges. Once you're happy with the keying, we're gonna switch back to the basic tab. We're gonna use the position and scale functions to place ourselves in the correct spot in the frame. You can also just click on the preview window and manipulate your footage that way. Finally, it's time to add some final touches to the color. With your footage selected, click the color tab. Adjust the different sliders until your footage blends into the scene. For this scene, pay particular attention to the color temperature slider, brightness slider, contrast slider, and white slider. And that's all there is to it. Play back your footage and enjoy seeing yourselves alongside the stars on the silver screen. And now you know how to insert yourself into any movie or show in Filmora 12. If you use these techniques in your next video, leave a comment so we can take a look. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the Wondershare Filmora channel for more editing tips. Keep creating, and I'll see you next time.